Hello and welcome to another NCCS YouTube video. My name is Emmanuel and I'm an application engineer here at NCCS. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the selection filter, a useful little feature within SolarWorks which allows you to, as its name suggests, filter the selected options within your part, preventing you from accidentally selecting an unwanted entity like a face instead of an edge or a edge instead of a corner. So, to activate this selection filter, what you do is you right click on the command manager here, you go down and select selection filter. You can see here all the different options appear. You have your vertices, edges, faces, surfaces, bodies, axes, planes, everything. And what it does is while you have them selected, you can only select that type. So for example, if I wanted to measure say this corner to this corner, I'd select vertices, go to measure, and you can see here only corners are selected. I can't, even if I tried, accidentally select an edge. Well, that's a corner there. So, select here and here, and we have the distance right away. To unselect it, I just simply click here again, and then I can say select bodies. This would be pretty useful if I wanted to measure actually just a beam. So click body, measure, and I have the mass properties for that particular beam. Unselect it, select a different beam, measure. Really easy. It should be noted that you do need to unselect this here, otherwise it will stay on. For the first three, the most common ones, vertice, edge, and face, there are keyboard shortcuts. So for vertices, V for vertice. For edges, E for edges. As you can see here, only my edges are being selected. I click on the face and nothing happens. But I click on the edges and they're selected. And X for faces. You can also stack on your selection. So as you saw there, if I press X, well E, V, and X, I can only I can select faces, edges, and vertices. If I just want to say select edges or vertices, as you can see here, I can select either the edge or the vertices. And that's how you use the selection filter. If you have any questions of your own and want to see the solution made into a YouTube video similar to this one, please send me an email. Also, if you enjoy these videos or found the content useful, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Hope you have a great week.